Hey, what's going on out there? Uh, this is Wayne here, and today I want to check out um, what happens when you freeze chain. Uh, been doing a lot of stuff on on security chain and finding out what really works well and and defeats the most attacks possible. And um, you know, it's out there that uh, there's there's a couple of videos where people freeze stuff and uh, freeze a lock, or freeze a piece of metal, and then hit it with a hammer. And because it's so cold, it becomes brittle because this is all hardened steel. Um, it would make it break like glass, kind of. Uh, so, you know, it's got a couple cans of air. The stuff's a little pricey. So I want to go ahead and maximize my use and get all three of these with the same shot. Uh, we'll, we'll hit them up. We'll use one entire can, just like the other videos online. And then uh, go ahead and smack it. And then if, if any of them need a touch up right before we hit them, we'll hit it with this one, too. Uh, this is the Payweg 12 millimeter hardened chain. Uh, this was the toughest that I've that we've tested so far as far as uh, bolt cutting resistance and uh, other cutting agents. Grinding wheel took about two minutes to cut through this link of chain, and um, bolt cutters didn't even touch it. Rockwell hardness scale 63, 63. This is the uh, security secure max security max from first chain supply, half inch. This is 12 millimeter, this is half inch. Um, and this is Rockwell hardness scale of 42, uh, 38 to 42. Um, so we'll see how that fares. And then this is the Abus uh, chain right here. So I didn't have this one yet when we did our other videos, but uh, we'll do some of the same testing on it. We'll include it because it's considered a security chain as well. So we'll get some safety stuff on and see what happens. So that doesn't look like it's going to happen. Um, you can tell this stuff's still pretty cold. We'll give it a touch up. Doesn't look like that's gonna work on that either. And we'll go ahead and get the Abus. So, that myth is um, pretty much debunked. I mean, you can see that it's still so cold it's still frozen. I mean, super cold, my fingers stick to it. Um, all of them are just like that. And, uh, you know, you got a big sledgehammer, regular hammer, pointed end, 
right on concrete, ideal conditions, ideal situation um, for this to come true, and it's just not, the steel's too strong. Uh, that other video, from what I could see, was done, and it looked like the, they broke a lock, basically, is what they did. And just whatever little piece was locking that lock cylinder up is what froze and then broke. Um, so it was just a teeny tiny piece. They didn't actually break a, a, a large piece of steel in half. Um, so that's uh, that's the test right there. I mean, it's obviously completely froze all the way through, as cold as it's going to get, because it's still um, it's still got that frosty stuff on there. So. Uh, for more information, check out the website below, and no, you cannot freeze chain, at least with your average, uh, you know, uh, house duster here, and um, hit it with a hammer and shatter it. It's just not going to happen. So, there you go.